afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is, v is Bento Correia, and I'm here to present, uh, let's say very briefly, a company that I helped uh, to co-found uh, more than 10 years ago, which is Visionbox. Uh, Visionbox, for um, those of you that probably never heard anything about uh, the company, um, uh, is a company that I would risk saying that uh, you might eventually have already used some of our products. Um, namely, this one, which is installed in uh, Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, uh, or eventually this one, uh, which is installed in, in Finland, uh, where we have also gates uh, for airports, for um, land border, for uh, seaports also. Um, and um, you might have also used those type of solutions uh, in UK, where we have um, installed uh, similar uh, 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 equipments in about 10 airports uh, in the United Kingdom. Or you might also have used those in Portugal, where uh, well, we have here quite a few uh, smart e-gates. This is just a... Um, uh, a, a brief show of the type of solutions that we have been um, deploying worldwide, uh, mainly in European countries, the ones that I showed you, uh, that somehow might have put you in contact with our technology and what we've been developing during the past few years. Uh, one remarkable uh, target for us is the fact that we have been very uh, su successful in, um, in a very small and niche market, which is uh, commonly known as uh, the automated border control gates, ABC smart gates. And this is uh, something that you see in most of the future airports in the coming years. And you, might, you may already seen those uh, in, in some of uh, the, the, the places that I referred before. One target that we are achieving this year is the first one million passengers in just, um, in, well, in less than one year in a single facility in, in Amsterdam Airport, the one that I referred. Um, just after this small um, insight of, on what we have been doing, I'd like to say a few words about the company itself. Um, the company was founded in 2001. Uh, it is a spin-off from um, two research and development laboratories and it is privately owned, uh, fully privately owned by uh, Portuguese people. And um, actually nowadays it has about 100 employees and um, we have a physical presence in uh, four continents. Um, we have our product spread over more than uh, 30 international airports uh, with uh, about 300 uh, smart e-gates deployed and associated with that, we have also uh, quite a few thousands of enrollment units, which are units that allow us to, to have high quality biometric data that are used in all of our um, smart gate solutions. Uh, this shows some of our awards and certificates. Uh, one very interesting one is the innovation certification that give us some um, 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 let's say relevance on all the innovation process that we conduct inside our company uh, because we are an innovation company. Everything that we um, uh, sell is uh, developed by our company. We do not represent or sell uh, third party products. Um, this shows the places where we have um, subsidiaries or in some other spots, uh, just commercial um, uh, offices. Um, we are a, a product company. And as a product company, uh, we consider that this, it is very important for us to, um, to cover the total life cycle products uh, of, uh, of everything that we develop. We are talking about uh, all stages of the product life cycle. We conceive, we develop, um, we prototype, we, we, do, some, we do pilots, uh, we produce, 
uh, we deploy and uh, we provide after-sales support and maintenance to all the systems that we deploy. Um, this shows you that we really produce all of the solutions that, uh, that we deploy worldwide. And uh, I referred before some of the most relevant uh, places in, mainly in Europe, where we have been quite successful, but I would like also to mention some less probable uh, spots, I would say. Um, for instance, nowadays you can find our solutions uh, of smart gates, for instance, in Rwanda airports uh, or in land border uh, between Rwanda and Congo. Uh, you can find also some of our e-gates in Venezuela, in Caracas airports, and you'll find them soon also in Colombia. Um, we, we may find uh, um, a lot of our solutions in Nordic countries, in Baltic countries, um, and uh, quite recently also, uh, you can see some of our solutions uh, in other markets rather complementary to what we've been doing in the, in the smart e-gates business, which is uh, the e-car dispenser, which I, I will show you afterwards. And this is quite successful in the Middle East, in Abu Dhabi and Dubai area. Um, just in Europe, five out of eight countries that currently have uh, smart e-gates are countries that have um, receiving our solutions. Um, we don't have time, of course, to go deep into our technology, but I'd like to share with you um, what I would uh, call our platform, the VBI Shield platform, that is um, the, 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 the basis of all the products that we develop and that uh, allow us to manage all the solutions um, that, that we build, being um, um, enrollment solutions, kiosks, and some of them might know the solution that we have been deployed here in Portugal for the electronic passport or the, 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 the electronic citizen card. Uh, but you can find them also in many other countries. And uh, along with live enrollment solutions, biometric live enrollment, enrollment solutions, and smart e-gates, which are mainly the focus and the main source of revenue for the company nowadays, you can see also that we have, um, a, 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 in, in this common platform, a strong position for the surveillance and uh, the, the, the video processing and computer vision analysis. And this is also part of um, uh, what we've been doing, and uh, including our partnership with Portugal Telecom in one recently uh, awarded projects in, in, in Brazil. Um, this shows you our portfolio that we don't have much time to go through those, all of those, but as a product company, um, we cover many aspects of um, uh, 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 very interesting areas of activity and the most relevant nowadays in our company is what we call Think Traveler, everything that is focused on the citizen, on the travel uh, business um, and wherever you do when you come to an airport uh, before your departure when you arrive at an airport and all the electronic solutions and products that you can use uh, to effectively and optimally uh, not spend much time uh, in security checks or during bureaucratic um, stuff inside the airport and spend more time shopping or non-shopping, just going directly to, to, to the e-gate. And we provide solutions for all of those stages uh, on, the, on the traveling process. Um, apart from all the consolidating, co consolidated positions that we have in many countries regarding smart e-gates, we have also um, recently introduced what you may now start seeing in many airports, what is now called e-boarding or boarding gates or security control gates, not just for border control, but for boarding, just for checking your identity or the validity of your document before getting inside a plane, um, increasing the security of the airports. Um, and this is a, an example of a recently deployed system. And innovation and uh, continuous development is one of our um, strong points. And this is um, just a, a, a slide that shows some of the things that you may see in the near future 
in many products that you, you will be faced with um, when you are applying for some documents or when you are uh, uh, crossing uh, some, some um, access control um, system that will grab simultaneously biometric data from face and we are very strong in face recognition um, collecting also um, fingerprint information, iris information, or wherever biometric feature we might think that is relevant for any type of application. Um, this is an example of one of those applications uh, of uh, uh, this technology into a product that is now being deployed, as referred before, in Dubai and Abu Dhabi for the dispensing uh, cards to the citizen, uh, not having the, the, the human um, in, in the process, assuring that uh, the process is transparent and there is no corruption in this, in this, in this process. Uh, just a brief overview of um, some main figures and from this I would like to retain um, that um, currently we are doing uh, something like 80% of our business volume in international projects. And this is really the trend of, of our company for the future. And this summarizes uh, what I would like to say regarding Vision Box. I'd like to thank also Portugal Telecom for the invitation. And thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.